What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Beaky back once again with another Let's Talk. And let's talk about the AAA video game industry. Recently I made a video proclaiming that it is a travesty that a game like Project Cars 2 is not coming out to the Nintendo Switch. And the developers themselves said they're not going to be doing it because right now it doesn't seem to be able to be powerful enough. But a lot of you guys did actually agree with me on that news video that I made. You guys can watch the video, the links will be in the description. But I did get called out on some of the points in that video. Because I said Project Cars was a triple A game. And one of my critics went ahead and tweeted me this very interesting tweet which makes me want to make this response videos. Because me as a YouTuber, I'm not just going to send you a snarky comment or something like that throw you off. I actually want to discuss this topic with you guys in the video game industry. And I know some of you guys won't agree with what I'm about to say but here me out. Alright, here's what my critic had to say about me calling Project Cars a triple A game. I'm sorry, but when did kickstarted games suddenly become triple A? Oh snap, Mike drop, he walks out of the room. And I didn't I didn't reply yet. Because I feel like replying to this is gonna be a little bit more nuanced than a 160 character tweet. Because we need to first define what is a triple A game. So let's hit up well the internet. Let's see what was classified as a triple A game. Triple A is a classification term used for video games with the highest development budgets and level of promotion. A title considered to be triple A is therefore expected to be high quality game or be among the best sellers of the year. Oh shit, looks like I fucked up because we know, uh, you know, Project Cars didn't have the highest level of promotion. It's not no Super Bowl showing game or anything like that. It's no ads like that. It didn't have the biggest budget out there. So I guess I failed. I mean, Damn, I guess he's right. It's not a AAA game. But wait, hold up. There's this very important thing right here. What's it said? A title considered to be AAA is therefore to expect to be high quality game. As a gamer, what do we care about? We care about high quality game. And when I refer to high quality games, I think of AAA type games. It doesn't matter where the developer gets the money to promote the game or make the game. If the game comes out, that to me, and it feels like something big and grand, not cheaply made, feel full and pack of content, that's a triple A game to me. And let's talk about something that's really interesting overall. EA, triple A publisher, right? We could all say that. They put out that Need for Speed game, the last one. It's a decent game, but it doesn't feel like it's really pushing the AAA high quality standards as much as me and my friends liked it. We all got the game and we're all pretty much disappointed with this freaking full motion video and all that crap that was in that game. Just wasn't great for the online, the six player online. But then the game like Project Cars comes out which is a little tiny studio. And 20 cars in a race, looks excellent on PC, consoles, getting updated constantly and now we're getting a new second game coming out. It's a high quality game with a bunch of great reviews. As a gamer, I think we should care more about the quality of games and consider that for being triple A more than if the game got a huge ass budget or was funded through Kickstarter or any other funding campaign, which it wasn't funding like whatever. It doesn't matter where the money comes from, if the game comes to us and is high quality and in our definition of being a full-fledged game, it wasn't missing content. I didn't feel like I was shortchanged playing this game. I felt like I really got a good game with a good tutorial, a lot of great modes, the carts, the cars are good. I was like, oh shit, I got my money's worth with this title. And then the, the game even dropped prices really, really quickly and let me to get the game really quickly after the fact if I wanted to for a cheaper price. I'm talking about other people because I bought it on release. I actually pre-ordered that game. That's how much I was hyped for Project Cars. So I think AAA for us as gamers should be defined as quality of a video game. I don't know if you guys agree with me on that. I understand the definition wants to highlight the budget and how big the company is, how big the promotion for the game is. But I think gaming, as gamers, we should care about the quality of the game that we receive. Just because a game comes out and it's a triple A game doesn't mean that it's instantly gonna be a good game. That's just how I see it, guys. Agree with me if you agree with me. Disagree with you, agree, disagree with me if you All over, I'm just gonna be very strict with the dude. I want Project Cars 2 to come out on the Wii, not Wii, sorry, the Nintendo NX. Because I'm getting an NX. The more games on the NX, the better it is for the industry. The more games, more choices for gamers have. And I'm all about the gamers. That's what I'm doing this for. I want to discuss things with the gamers. I'm not here to 
to find the terms for the publishers, the businessmen trying to make all the money in this industry. Of course, EA and Activision, when they go into making Destiny, it's like, okay, we're gonna put $500 million for Destiny. We're gonna put um, $80 million for this new Need for Speed, but they can put $80 million in promotion and development for this new Need for Speed game, and it comes out worse than a game that was made out of Kickstarter funds. Well, that doesn't matter to me. All I care is the end product. The end product for me is good, then that's good. I'm gonna keep it simple like that. What is your definition of a AAA game? Let me know in the comment section below. But before we go, I got some cool little announcements. As some of you guys might know from my last video, I've had a really stressful and bad day overall, like this morning. But anyways, I'm gonna turn a very negative thing into a very positive thing for YouTube. I'm gonna use the negativity to fuel me to really come here on YouTube and start actually producing more content in a regular basis and a higher quality basis. Some of my favorite things to do on here on YouTube is reviews. And somebody's called me, sorry about that. So I'm gonna be having some reviews of some stuff that I've gotten over the last few weeks or just haven't really showcased on the channel. This is one of the newest things I've gotten is a Zenfone 3 Deluxe. This is a new high-end um, aluminum, fully aluminum, six gigabytes of RAM phone from Asus. I just got this today because as you guys know, my regular phone is a piece of trash right now because I dropped it a billion times, so I need a new phone. And along with that, I've uh, picked up the art book for XCOM, got a new tripod. The reason why I got a new tripod for the channel is because, as you guys will know, my tripod currently has been used to death and parts are falling off and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's like, it's, it's a pretty crappy tripod over, over together at this point after like over a year and, and plus use. So, new tripod to try to alleviate the problems of stuff missing on my regular tripod. And these reviews of some of these products will be either on my main channel or my second channel. Like, I even got gloves, and some of you guys might be wondering why would I review gloves. Um, but in the past, I've reviewed even like work boots because those stuff are important to me and quality. So, I have a lot of stuff that I like doing reviews. So, I'm gonna start doing reviews a lot more for video games, for items. Some of them will be on my second channel, BK. So don't worry, gaming content is still mostly staying here. And I got some more portable speakers. If you guys have been on my channel for a long time, you know I'm a big fan of portable speakers. Like I've bought a lot of these over the year, and I think I finally found the perfect portable speaker with the amount of bass I want, with the compatibility I want, with the features that come into the box for the price. This is probably the best buy I've seen so far for a portable speaker. It got a lot of stuff for a good amount of price, so I'm really happy with that. So, and um, also Anchor's brand new um, USB Type-C 3.0 quick charger. I, this is one is one of the newest models. I'm gonna be talking about this real soon. And more news related to the channel, which I'm gonna make a separate video for in the future, but just a quick little hint. I've actually had some good news for everybody out there that supports the channel. Once again, every time you guys go ahead and leave donations, or you buy stuff through my Amazon affiliate link, or if you leave um, fan funding, it does support the channel. Now, and I always like to tell you guys where that money goes that you guys donate to me or help support the channel with. And with that being said, one of the new things I'm gonna be getting for the channel to make the channel even more better is the new Logitech Brio 4K webcam. I've already ordered it using the money you guys have donated to me over the last few months and stuff. So that new webcam will replace my regular webcam right here. That webcam could do 1080p 60, 4K 30, has HDR. So that's be a nice upgrade to my current quality and it's better at low light. So right now I'm using the GoPro to record this in 4K, but it's not the best thing in low light because GoPro is really meant to play out, go outside. So my quality might look a little bit better if that one camera really shows out to be really nice and really good and I've also picked up um, a sound booth for my microphone so this is my blue Yeti microphone that I bought at the beginning of last year to upgrade the quality of my sound for my gameplay videos and my reviews I've also bought a sound booth for this mic the sound booth would actually cover the microphone in sound insulation well soundproofing and uh, stuff and this will make the sound audio a little bit better so the sound of my PC in the background or anybody outside playing music won't be picked up as much it should sound a little bit better so that's something that's gonna be coming up in the channel real soon and I hope that stuff actually enhances the channel and make everything a little bit better because I feel like if I'm gonna be doing YouTube this is how I am I feel like I need to keep evolving it doesn't matter how many views to really get a video I just want my quality to be kind of higher than the standard of somebody around 17,000 subscribers like I feel like I should be better than the rest at my subscriber level. That's how I like to do it. So more 4K videos coming, like a lot. More 1080p 60 videos coming, a lot. The only thing I'm still missing for the channel is a 4K video game capture card for the PlayStation Pro and the Scorpio once those come out, because I just don't know which one to buy and I need suggestions. If you guys know of a good 4K capture card, 
that works with the PlayStation 4 Pro or the Xbox One Scorpio when that comes out, let me know. Because right now on the market, a lot of stuff out there is really old and I'm not sure which one to pick up down the line. So more YouTube videos coming to my second channel, main channel, and my third channel, which is the Elder Scrolls Legends. I'm going to turn a very bad morning, very negative. Like, I'm really, really stressful day I had today. I'm not going to go into it because it's just, I don't want to make you guys feel any more depressed. I like to make you guys a little happy here and turn it into a positive with good content. So till next time, later, ladies and gentlemen.